this talk is going to be on we'll focus on the talk is law regulating the acquisition collection dissemination and trading of spatial data falling within the responsibility metrics of talk's national gis effective since february 20 february 2020 please um while listening to the session put your questions on the session pad and after the live stream um they will answer all of your questions thank you and back to the live stream Uh, hello, everybody. Uh, welcome to our session. Um, I'm John. Uh, I'm with my colleague uh, Orkut right now. Um, sorry that we couldn't be doing this presentation face to face due to the conditions were happening worldwide. Um, um, I'm just hoping that we are going to have a good online discussion uh, after this presentation as well. Oh, if uh, something bad doesn't happen by this time, we will be also uh, standing by while you watch this video. So we will be more than happy to discuss if you have any questions. So uh, my name is John Unan. Uh, I'm a civil engineer, uh, but I also have a PhD in geomatics. I'm currently a lecturer at MEF University in Turkey. I'm also the founding member and chair of board of Yaçiz Annar Mapping for Everyone Association uh, in Istanbul. And I'm also currently a project manager with Humanitarian Open Street Map team. Hello, everybody. Uh, as Jan said, uh, I'm Orkut, and uh, it's a pleasure for me to be here, at least online. So uh, I'm a geomatics engineer uh, and founding member of Yachts and like John. Uh, and I'm an entrepreneur and I have a company. Uh, I'm a founder of a company uh, which focus is uh, geospatial software development mostly. And uh, I'm a free software and free data evangelist too. Okay, so uh, what we are doing with Yachizanda is that we have we, we founded Yachizanda in 2017 and we are aiming to promote the use of open geospatial data and its related tools for purposes like disaster management, disaster relief, community mapping and academic research, etc. And we are operating in close collaboration and partnership with the Humanitarian OpenStreetMap team in our projects. You can see a couple of pictures uh, at the side. These are our um, members and mappers that are uh, we are, that we are working together uh, in, in in these activities. Um, we have been partnering and different organizations and geos etc as well so what um, our work has started with refugee mapping in, in in istanbul so we have a quite high population of syrian refugees in istanbul they're out of camp refugees and um, what we have done is just we were partnering with other organizations to improve adaptability, to improve the adaptation of the Syrian refugees in Istanbul. And um, you can see a brochure, a map, uh, a transportation brochure that we have prepared with uh, the Refugees Association um, in Istanbul, uh, partnering with, again, Humanitarian Open Street Map in our previous project. Um, we are currently focusing on road network improvement in uh, the in, in in the region focusing on both greece and turkey and uh, for the past two years we have mapped more than we have edited more than 100,000 kilometers of highway data in both countries um, we are again as i mentioned uh, we have been partnering with unhcr in istanbul uh, the Chamber of Serving Cadastro Engineers, uh, Turkish uh, Linux Users uh, Association, uh, the, the Turkey Search and Rescue Association, etc. So, uh, in our in, in in that community work, we are promoting OpenStreetMap, use of OpenStreetMap, uh, OpenStreetMap data tools, other open software like QGIS, etc. With uh, during mapathons, workshops, and trainings that we organize and collaborate with different organizations and different groups. So we are organizing mapathons, we are organizing workshops on advanced OpenStreetMap, 
QGIS, uh, GNU Linux, uh, Postgres, Guild, PostGIS, etc. So, um, whatever mapping tool, whatever open mapping tool is available, we are interested in uh, the Turkish community to use it more and benefit uh, of, of its advantages and benefits of its use more. Uh, as Jan said before, uh, we are Yersizaner and we are also members of Turkish OpenStreetMap community. Uh, OpenStreetMap community of Turkey contains Yersizaner, but uh, not uh, all of the OpenStreetMap Turkish members uh, are members of Yersizaner too. So uh, we are organizing our community uh, over the uh, talk to your email group. Uh, actually, there was only one uh, platform. Uh, once and then we have established a Slack channel and we have established a Facebook group too. And uh, the group and the Slack channel uh, are under control of, are, are ad under ad administration of different users. So, uh, as Turkish OpenStreetMap community, uh, we organize mapathons and most of them uh, focused on uh, hub tasks. Uh, we would like to contribute humanitarian tasks mostly. And uh, we do uh, online discussions about OpenStreetMap, the data quality, uh, OpenStreetMap wiki, the tags, and the other stuff, and some tips and tricks uh, we always share. And right now, uh, if you check the uh, Nisvan's uh, website, uh, you can see the contribution from uh, community of Turkey is decreasing and the decrease is uh, can be seen uh, on the graph um, started in 2020 so we are going to talk about the uh, decrease right now yeah there's there's a reason for that decrease because now right now the open street map community is um there's certain uncertainties regarding the production of geospatial data in Turkey. So in in January, we had the news that there's a new law is going to be passed on National Geographic Information Systems, which would regulate production, management and dissemination of special spatial data. And with the law, the responsibility on the National Spatial Data Index is given to the Ministry of Environment and uh, Environmental and Urban Affairs. And the law says that, the, the text says that acquisition, collection, dissemination and trading of spatial data, which is defined within this responsibility, within national responsibility matrix, by third party individuals or legal entities are subject to prior approval of the ministry. Moreover, the approval will be subject for a fee of 25 Turkish dirhams for native and or 50 Turkish dirhams for foreign parties per each one over a thousand plans corresponding to the study regions from the national topographical grid. And um, it wasn't clear at the first draft, it wasn't clear at the first text, but uh, when we look at the ministry's website and look at what is that data layers, what is that responsibility matrix, the data falling into these 32 categories, these 32 layers are falling within the responsibility of this uh, newly passed law. And uh, all uh, these are the general uh, layers, this is the general layer structure, but all of the data that is falling within this uh, is uh, just the, the responsibility is assigned to different governmental organizations and uh, it was uh, when we first when look at the text it was quite restrictive uh, in, in, in perspective of uh, mappers uh, in, in perspective of people working in this uh, sector within Turkey which is outside of government organizations. So, <clears throat> as John mentioned two slides before, uh, the new law uses plans for calculating the price. Uh, if we divide Turkey map into uh, 1,000 map sheets, we will reach uh, 600,000 sheets roughly. It will cost uh, 15 million Turkish dust uh, for a party to use or uh, create or edit or uh, copy or sell uh, the whole country data. And 15 million uh, Turkish dirhams is, would you please click on? Yeah. 
two million dollars approximately. Uh, it will be huge uh, for a party who would like to use the whole country data. And um, after this, uh, after this law, after this law was passed in the parliament, there were lots of comments and there were lots of uh, talk within the community. So uh, one of one of one of the most active contributors, uh, Nesim, said that uh, after this law, I'm just stopping contributing to Turkish data, and he said that he's contributing to Chinese data instead. Uh, one of our members of the community, Said, uh, I'm sure that he will be also participating in this event. Hi, Said. Uh, he he just um, made a questionnaire and asking after this passing law, will you continue contributing the Turkish map uh, to the Facebook group, uh, to the Open Street Map Turkey's Facebook group, and. Most of the, uh, almost one third, more than one third of the contributors said that they have stopped contributing to Turkish data on OpenStreetMap. Uh, the same amount of users said that they are continuing contributing to the data. And lots of, uh, all, maybe one fourth of the other people say that uh, they are started contributing. They keep contributing to OpenStreetMap, but outside of Turkey. So this is uh, why there was a drop in the contributions. There was a drop in contributions in Turkish OpenStreetMap data in 2020. After the, the after the bill has passed, Minister of Environment and Urban Planning started working on regulations. They wanted all actors to comment about the regulations content. As a designer, we sent recommendations document for open geospatial data regulation. And our main focus was about obligations of payment. So we said that basically open data uh, and use, create, edit and copy of non-commercial data and crowdsourced data production should be free. And after that, in April 2020, uh, the ministry re uh, published a revised draft of law, but there were no mention, uh, there were no mentions to open data on the uh, revised draft either. Um, during this time, also the ministry has announced the use of a geospatial portal, and uh, in in couple of talks, in couple of news, etc. They also mentioned that. Uh, there would be an open data portal, there will be a national geographical data portal that all the uh, data that was mentioned in those responsibility matrix matrices would be accessible. But uh, it wasn't clear the level of accessibility, etc. But there's now an online service called Atlas Go TR. And uh, there are different access tokens available there. You can have a public access, so you can enter just um, uh, you can enter there anonymously but f uh, with that uh, uh, with that access you can only see a very limited data that is open to uh, access you can apply for authorized access so you just apply for a username apply for a user token and uh, after one or two days you are granted a user token so that you are now having access to view uh, more data uh, co uh, compared to a public access and there's a higher level access called gov governmental organization access all the data that is defined in this uh, national geographical matrix national matrix are accessible by the government organizations uh, in that system uh, <clears throat> When we were coming to this month, uh, earlier this month, the National Geographic Information Systems Committee has conducted its first meeting. So this committee is overseeing, is going to oversee this uh, na National Geospatial Data Infrastructure. The committee will oversee the operation of Atlas Gold TR port, data portal, etc. Uh, the public announcement made after the first meeting says that there's a... Uh, uh, they, they mentioned development of a new National Geographic information platform and online tools to access all national data, but it is still unclear and, and on the, the, the access, the licensing and registration details of uh, the data available in that portal is still unclear. So there's not still not an, an explanation about uh, the regulations and potential restrictions for third parties. 
but uh, from the ministry's website, you can access that. There, are, there's a spatial data services pool. So uh, there are uh, there are WMS and WFS services accessible from desktop environments, which is uh, quite a good feature and which is quite an impo important feature. So you can. Um, there's a tutorial video provided there. You can just see the shortened links, shortened URLs, and you can follow there, but the video is in Turkish. And the second link you can see in the screen, and we are just going to share it within the message message facility of, of, of that. So if you want to access that. So if you follow these links, you can see the list of services, list of WMS services in XML format. Uh, some of them are not operational because the Ministry of Urban Urbanization aren't serving all of them, but other government organizations are responsible for the service. Uh, but the information is being transferred and shared by the Minister of uh, Urbanization. So uh, in, in that list of XML, it's a very comprehensive list, uh, but there are lots of uh, inoperative services at the moment. Uh, some services are accessible, so you can see a couple of screenshots regarding that. And uh, almost all of the data services that is listed in the XML file says that uh, these data is strictly for information purposes. It cannot be used in legal or official processes. Data cannot be duplicated and published for the use of third parties. And if the data sets are found to be used for commercial purposes, legal action will be taken against parties responsible. So. Uh, although we are able to access a huge chunk of data at the moment, there's still uh, big questions about their licensing. So we can, uh, in, in, in what manner we can use that data or if, what, if, we, if we can just um, refer, refer to that data to build or to produce other geographic information or if the information derived from this data can be used in other services like OpenStreetMap. So it is still, there is still a level of uncertainty um, at these processes. As uh, we contacted the ministry again this month and uh, they said that the work on uh, regulations are going on and they are still examining our recommendations. Uh, also, they mentioned that they have plans to publish some data with open data licenses. And we offered uh, a collaboration with OpenStreetMap. Uh, we are still expecting the results of the exam examination of uh, our recommendations. Uh, so the time of that presentation, we didn't get an official reply, but uh, by the time, uh, but be be between this time and between state of the map, if we have any information, uh, we will most probably be discussing that at the questions uh, at the questions part. Um, so thanks a lot uh, for joining us in that online session. Uh, hope uh, that. Uh, we were able to draw a good frame, grow a good perspective of what's going on in Turkey and uh, we'd be happy to discuss more if you have questions. So best wishes from Istanbul and we will be expecting your questions on the live session. microphone. Hello, I think we are waiting for Jaria to moderate the QA.
I am a, I am Aran. So um, should I go directly to the questions? Um, we can, but I can give also a small update uh, since the time we have recorded this uh, presentation. Within this week, uh, new legislations, uh, new, um, uh, new legislations regarding to those law has also passed. Now, uh, the government, uh, the ministry has also now shared a timeline. Uh, regarding the national spatial information system, national geographic information systems. So it mainly contains um, how all other governmental organizations uh, are, co are going to contribute to this system. How will they support that system? How can they uh, share their data or access other uh, governmental organizations' data to those systems? There are also talks about licensing etc. So there's a comprehensive plan for the future uh, regarding to that data. But uh, as far as we have uh, read through and as far as we have followed, uh, it is more um, focusing on how the government organizations will restructure the round and cluster around this uh, new geographic information law. And Again, there is, there is going to be a licensing about the data that uh, those uh, organizations are going to produce and share. Uh, but still, um, we couldn't get any clear information and clear intention regarding other data sources and other open data sources like OpenStreetMap or other uh, public or private contributors to Turkish ge geospatial data. So again, we, have, we don't have a clear idea on how that uh, new law is going to be uh, enforced or applied in the coming weeks or in the coming 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 months and years. I'm sorry. So uh, there's still um, these uncertainties are going on in some aspect. Uh, there are still questions that we need to ask the officials on how how everything will shape up. So uh, I just wanted to give you this update before going through the question. Thank you, John, for the update. Um, so the first question is, what what is the reason for the law? Is it connected with resisting causes separation by taking control of map boundaries? And the second one is, do you think the government will try to exercise any control over non Turkish contributors to OSMT? Okay. Um, I don't think it has a direct connection uh, with the separatist movement. Um, I mean, it has also, I mean, there may be some connection because there's also uh, the National Geographic Information Law governs uh, standardized data. So there may be disputed names, disputed namings, disputed boundaries, uh, not only the Kurdish separatist movement, but uh, there's also others. Uh, uh, other fractions or other uh, groups that the government is also uh, against at the moment. So the name the, there have been lots of name changes at, in, in lots of uh, regions after the coup attempt in 2015. So again, um, with, uh, due to the Gulen movement's naming, some of the namings of places, some of the namings of streets, etc., have changed. It's also uh, has to do something with that also. The government wants to have a standardized and legalized uh, data structure. And also um, one reason of it would be the, uh, the, the, the fragmentation of uh, government data between government organizations. Uh, the communication and data sharing between government organizations are not uh, working perfectly. So this is also uh, something going through a centralized uh, national geographic information system. But uh, some th th there have been some concerns about uh, people in the sector or people uh, voluntarily contributing to map feature, map, map system, mapping systems like OpenStreetMap, for example. Uh, or could you wanna, uh, do you wanna have extra comments on that? Uh, 
Actually, I don't want to add uh, more because, yeah, uh, we guess that it is about uh, um, centralizing and it's about the economical issues. Uh, it is not about uh, uh, politic issue, political issues mostly. So, yeah, and uh, the, the second question, we missed that. Uh, do you think the government will try to exercise any control over non-Turkish contributors to OSAM map data? So we didn't get any specific feedback regarding OpenStreetMap, and uh, we didn't see any issues or any roadblocks uh, since then regarding OpenStreetMap data production. Uh, um, the, the the officials from the ministry are aware of what OpenStreetMap is, what uh, Open what OpenStreetMap data is, what uh, the OpenStreetMap community is. So we had that impression when we when we had a chat with them and when we had an unofficial chat with them. Um, right now, there's no action against uh, OpenStreetMap contributors worldwide. And if even if there would be an action towards OpenStreetMap, I think it would be an action towards the database, the OSMF. Uh, I mean, it would be on the OSMF side instead of the user side. Yeah, uh, we had an experience with Wikipedia uh, in the near uh, past. Uh, Wikipedia was blocked in Turkey uh, for three years or so. So uh, we don't want uh, be the same disaster with OpenStreetMap data and contributors. So uh, we are trying to uh, <coughs> tell the government that uh, OpenStreetMap data is important and uh, they need to uh, let all the co contributors worldwide uh, to contribute, uh, to provide data, to produce data. Yeah, and uh, our discussion was involving uh, um, Non-commercial use of OpenStreetMap data and non-commercial use of OpenStreetMap tools would uh, should uh, continue, but if there would be some uh, governance on that, uh, at least it should be on the um, commercial activities on OpenStreetMap data. So that may be a middle ground. Another middle ground would be just um, um, maybe it would be that there should be there should there can be a communication between OSMF and the ministry. So that the licensing issues, et cetera, may be resolved. And we also don't know how that national data licensing would be. If, it's, if, 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 if that data is shared with an open license, we may just uh, import that data to OpenStreetMap so that the OpenStreetMap data layers would be in compliance with the national Turkish National Geographic Information System. So there are still lots of questions uh, even we didn't get the answers to. And thanks a lot for lots of support messages you 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 put on the notepad. Uh, regarding English uh, in, in English documentation, the ministry's website is only in Turkish at the moment. We checked the English version of it, and the English version of the ministry's website was empty. Um, but uh, if you just contact with us, uh, we will be very happy to give you provide you information about that or pro provide some mediation. Okay, um, the other question is, how can those of outside Turkey support you? Well, organizing more mapathons uh, together with us uh, could be helpful because uh, we can uh, improve what we say by uh, data, uh, by collaborative data. Uh, it is meaningful. Thanks for asking. Yeah. yeah thanks. thanks for support too. Yeah, I mean, uh, in in the short term, I don't think there should be any support would be necessary. But in in, in the longer term, uh, if 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 OSMF and the ministry would be involved in discussions, then maybe. So. Okay. Um, the other one is a comment. I had no idea about this. My sympathies to our Turkish colleagues. Thank um, you. <laughs> So um, if you guys, if you want to add anything, those are the questions, or maybe you want to update us more about the laws, um, you can go ahead. Um, I think I, I think uh, it's all I go, I'm going to say right now. If, if or could I want to add something again? Um, um, actually, there's nothing to add, but uh, it was a great honor to be here uh, for both of us. 
Yeah, and the t-shirt design is very good. We love it. <laughs> yes. Oh, I'm just so sad I couldn't get my print. These are printed, but thank you so much. Um, it was you. really insightful, and thank you so much. So we will, um, the the part is done now. There's no more fiction, so we call it a day. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you very much.